Hello everybody and welcome to my updated Iron Man guide to Max Cape. A lot of y'all might remember my old guide from, I don't know, two to three years ago. Uh, and lots of people have been asking for it to be updated. You know, there have been a lot of people coming from uh, old school to RS3 recently that are looking for this sort of thing. So I thought, hey, now is a great time for me to kind of do a redux of it. Um, and, and maybe play along with it too to, to try and see if anything needs improvement. So that is to note that I have not played through this, okay? I have only adapted this guide from the quest order listed on the wiki, uh, which, which is quite good, I think, but uh, there are a lot of things that it doesn't take into account if you're an Iron Man, of course. Uh, it's meant more for Mainscape accounts. Um, yeah, and, and it looks a little bit better this time around. So we have our standard task list, we have estimated durations, we have listed rewards, we have notes that are important, and we have nice little check boxes to show if you completed it or not. Uh, also, any wiki links for important things go here. Quest guides, uh, generally quick guides listed on the wiki, but also any other relevant links, like, hey, here's the Ring of Kinship. There are some YouTube links scattered in here as well. Uh, and then, most importantly, I think, I don't use other tabs to track your levels anymore. I have level estimates built into this. So, hey, early on, you complete Let Them Eat Pie, boom, level two thieving, level two cooking. Hey, you do Violet is Blue, Violet is Blue 2, you have 31 Herb Lore. And every time you click one of these, it increases the estimated time spent, it increases your levels appropriately, it tracks your quest points, and it also shows you your estimated completion based on the time spent this time around. Uh, there is a lot to this guide. I mean, okay, you're going to hear my mouse just kind of go wild with it. Um, but I know it's not perfect. It's definitely not perfect this time around. Uh, <laughs> same as my video, right? This is just another one take. Um, but I think most importantly is that I'm going to try and improve this as I plan to play through it. Uh, so if you're looking forward to that, uh, I mean, come back tomorrow and, and you might see something special. Um, yeah, so I think a lot of the quest order is fine. Um, I do make a few assumptions here and there that make sure that one, you're staying on top of your own D and D's, uh, and actually doing your memory every single day, doing your caches, doing your rune sphere when those things are really relevant to you. Uh, also, if necessary, you're making urns to try and cut down on time. Um, I didn't actually cut down on the duration too much for these, but I did it a few different spots um, and also tried to build in some time to assume, hey, you were making urns for 30 minutes there. Um, just, just know that there's some flexibility here. Uh, and here over on the task order, once you get towards the end, um, it's just you know, unlock invention, grind out all other requirements for quests, because there are so many that I didn't want to make like 20 tasks in a row that were all, hey, grind to this level, grind to this level, grind to this level. And a lot of these different quests here, they have really good XP rewards, but they're not incredibly important at those levels. You know, if you're running around with like a T75, T78 weapon that you might be I don't know how much time is going to be saved if you get your experience bonus from the mighty fall as opposed to just going and doing some strength training. Um, doing quests are still more efficient at that point uh, for, for quests that do have good rewards. Uh, but, you know, it becomes a little more wishy-washy towards the end. Uh, and as long as you knock the quests out, I, I think it's it's all fine in the end. Uh, and then there's the silly little get your skills at a 99, just finish the game, forehead, uh... Yeah, estimated like a thousand hours left to go at the end. Um, I did include all of these old uh, old notes that I had from my previous guide down here. Uh, and there are some hidden sheets which, which would allow you to see uh, the old task order if you want to. Um, there is something that I want to make very clear though, and I wish I mentioned this earlier. But if you want your own copy of this guide to use to make it editable, you go to File... You go to make a copy, uh, make a copy right here. Just boom, you name it. It goes into your own Google Drive. 
and and then you you use it you don't have to you don't ask me for permission to edit this file because you don't want to edit the public version it's going to mess up everyone else's experiences i've gotten something like 60 emails over the past few years since i released my old guide uh asking for access here or there um so yeah here's the guide let me know if you have any questions if you have any suggestions for improvements hey shoot them over to me down in the comments over on reddit if you see me around uh or via email is fine too honestly um yeah and i'll, I'll try to incorporate uh, some of those improvements i'll also try and improve this over time uh as i as i play through it uh if i if i make any notes where where a big section needs to be changed that is otherwise it'll just be small edits to the durations here and there anyway i hope this is useful to you i hope that some of you new converts that are trying out the game from old school are really enjoying it uh and i'm going to uh you know be sure to put this guide up on the wiki too or put this guide up on the the subreddit too uh for y'all um and, and that's all i have again See y'all back here tomorrow if you're looking forward to some, uh, you know, some of my more normal content.